Okay. Oh. You like that? Uh, yeah. Can we get good. anything? Yeah. I thought it worked well. Did you think it worked well? Yeah, but the only, the only minor thing is I'll tell you. Um, is, um, never pull the microwave from the guy interviewing you. Whenever you take it from him, it, uh, it becomes a pissing contest already. You're the baby face. Every time you pull away, it, it, it takes away from what you're building to because it's already stirring animosity. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it makes and, sense. And then plus, like, you know, if you want to pump the place, you know, like, but you have to be really careful following with the mic. So, uh, who is it? Now, uh, hang on a sec. So it's like, you know, if Dan goes and turns like that and you turn with him, you know, so he's always in the mic range, but you got to keep it where you can hear. Plus that way, when you pull it away, whereas if Dan takes it from you, you got to snatch it back and Dan should be like, motherfucker, you ain't snatching the mic. You know what I mean? So right. you hurt yourself by snatching it. Okay. You know what I mean? The, um, like almost took sympathy off myself a little bit? Well, no, no, not that. No, it just, it just, um, it built the tension before. Yeah, a little bit, but I mean, but it just built the tension before you wanted the tension built. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like before yeah, he's right. even like. Okay, that makes sense. And, and also, honestly, it's like you're coming out of his segment, so you have to let him do his thing. You know what I mean? Which is part of it. He has control. You know what I mean? Right. You know, so if you take it away and everybody takes it away, then he's already lost half of his control. You know, which is part of his gimmick is he's got the segment. You know what I mean? It's got to be under his terms because if he gets punked out all the time on his own segment, then it, it takes away from his healiness. You know what I mean? Right. Um, plus, it just. You know, it's kind of like if, 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 if he has control of the mic, right? And he's like, hey, blah, 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 oh, and sorry, you know, I got some better names. You know what I mean? That that was the whole point of why I didn't want okay. two mics because okay. Okay. so he has control so he can go, hey, what do you think about that, Dan? And that plus also that way. Now, if you're also, the other thing is if you take it away from him earlier, you know, then when he finally says the thing, why don't you just take the mic and walk off when you walk off? You know what I mean? See, that way if you keep, he keeps putting it in your face and finally you're like, don't put it in my face. You've gone too far. You know what I mean? Right. It's just a draw. It's a dramatic thing. Right. Um, it's a minor thing. I mean, it's nothing to worry about. But I would tell people from now on, don't let let the interviewer hold the mic and don't take it from them. Okay. And just when the interviewer has to follow you. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, the other thing was, I wouldn't have uh, when he said screw you, Dan, at the top of the stairs, right? I wouldn't have walked power, walked back. I would I would have stopped and waited. Like I would have stopped, had my back to him, and listened. And listened and turned around, let the people build a sec, and they grab you. You know what I mean? So, so you can't go and send it again halfway down the aisle. Plus, I who is it? I just let them in, whoever. Let me see who it is. I hate seeing people get halfway down the aisle. I get it. I hate it. I mean, oh, thank you. Huh. I hate seeing people get hit from behind because what happens is years and years. I mean, I, for the first two years I was in a business. I had people drop kick me in the back of the neck for, you know, it's a great spot, except that it fucked my neck up so bad that, like, and you get the same reaction, and it, getting hit from behind, you know, if somebody's going to hit you from behind, right, and if you go at the last second, you turn around and they hit you, it's the same reaction, you know what I mean? Right. So getting hit from behind, you either have to tense, or you're wide open to fuck your neck up. So why right. be put in that position? So that way, if you stop, you turn, like, if you stop like this when he says, screw you, and he's like, and you turn... And the people are like, oh, fuck, Dan's going to make, you know, now they're excited, right? And before they can, the hands grab you, you know what I mean? Through the curtain, and it's kind of like, right. you know, like Harry Potter-ish, kinda, you know what I mean? But right. it's just a little more drama. It's, it's a minor you. stuff, but it's just a little more drama-ish. I got you. But, I mean, but I, I thought it went really well. Honestly, I thought you got a lot of heat, a lot of sympathy on it. I thought it worked really well. The fucking, um, I thought you did a great job with it. Um, and I thought the people, did you hear the people? When he said you got married here, they went, ooh, like they knew. Right, right, yeah, like, people mean, knew the whole story. And then when he said the divorce, or the marital troubles, people knew right away. I mean, so right. they fought it, bro. So I'm telling you, that, that segment worked really well. Very sympathetic. You got a ton of sympathy on it. And you showed that fucking, see, everybody always wants a stage a comeback. It's like, um, but you just by walking away, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. He's fucking walking away. That's kind of odd. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's kind of like in Rocky when fucking Rocky gets up. That's all he had to do. He didn't yeah. need to come back. He just stood up and the fucking place went nuts. But it's, but it's <laughs> yeah. true though. But it's true though. It is true. You know what? It is true. I'm not yeah. making fun no. of you. I know. But you just didn't go off the point for 40 minutes. The right. whole, my whole cardio session was about Rocky and I had just seen Rocky when I popped. Right. And when I realized when I saw it, it's the first thing I thought of. Yeah. So no, in actuality, they did I think well, I, I don't know. It was, I saw it the last showing of a, it was only like 10 people in the movie. But, uh, but I'm saying, I, but I Rocky, when he stood up. But around Rocky won. Remember in the 14th and 13th round huh. in the corner, and they, in the first, in the, like the first stay fight. Down, stay down. It's like stay the 13th down. round. The corner goes stay 
played and they're all in slow motion. Yeah. And he just stood up and you're like, holy fuck, he didn't quit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he goes, I ain't going down again. But it's just, it's the drama. So when you walked off, they go, whoa, wait a minute. Like, he's supposed to be fighting. Like, in their brains, in their, in their primitive brains, they're gone. They don't know what they're thinking, but this is what's going on subconscious. They go, wait a minute, this is wrestling. He's supposed to fight him. Why isn't he fighting him? That's kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? It's kind of maybe it's too personal. Like, it hits him on a different level. You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and it worked really well. I think the only thing I, 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 I've made a bad call on was I don't think they should have played your music on the out. Or they, well, I mean, not that they shouldn't have. They should have played it so loud. Yeah. They should have played it, like, toned it down so it's kind of like your music's out, but soft. So it's, you know, so it's just the better music as opposed yeah. to... Because your music's too hardcore fighting. Right. You know what I mean? So that, that was the only thing I didn't realize, like, you know, that but they should have just played it soft or whatever. It was really good shit. I got to, um, I don't want to, I got to get... That's fine, I got one other question. Do we, um, look where? Do we, uh, and, uh, we doubled down the first one, and then you set yourself up for the comeback, fucking in the, in the rocking chair uh, spot. Yeah, it, it, The heat's going on. Yeah, it kind of killed the fucking moment. You know what I mean? Like, sorry. well, did you see me just, that's why I was just laying there going, you know, come on, come on, come get me. You know, like, remember, you're the heel, so if, um... The whole match is built around, like, okay, the, the comeback, the whole match is geared, uh, Danny already heard all this, but the whole match is geared toward for the comeback. It's old, man. The shine is fucking completely unimportant, but the heat is, the, yeah, if there's no heat, there's no comeback. And if the heat isn't built right, then fucking, uh, the comeback fucking doesn't have too much resonance. Um, and so, that when I would have doubled down, the thing about it like this is if you're, if you're beating me up for three minutes, right, and I get one good move in, who should be beat up more? Me. I should. I mean, because like, even if, if you're pounding me for three minutes, I don't care how devastating a move I hit you with, you just beat me up for three minutes. I should be in still should be in worse shape. You know what I mean? That's like a desperation move. So you always, the heel should always get up first from the double down. There's no way a baby face should ever get up. I mean, because think about it. If you're, if I'm beating, the, if I'm kicking, if I'm the heel, I'm kicking the crap out of you, right? And you unleashed a devastating super kick, right? And I, I got a drop. You still are beat up from everything I did to you, right? That was like everything you had left was the mustard, a super kick. You should be even worse off now than you were just a second ago, right? Right, right. And so, so as a healer, you always have to fucking, uh, you should always beat the baby face to his feet. And that's why, like, whenever I make a comeback, I usually have him beat me to my feet, go to pick me, and unlock the hands away or whatever. But, but, but the first one, just if you see me not moving, then you know, then come get me. You know what I mean? Um, especially when I'm setting my leg up. On a rope, going, hey, see, there's my leg, jump on it. But uh, it's not a biggie. Um, and then, um, what happened? Then uh, there was something else. I forget. I'll come to me. But then um, the, uh, where, the, oh, yeah. Uh, at, the, at the end of the thing, it felt like it was, I was trying to get, um, I was trying to, it's so hard for the baby face to call the match, you know what I mean? And I was trying to get, to, for it to build, to, for you to get back on me a little more, a little more, a little more, and hit the DDT. Uh, and it just, it kind of came flat, you know what I mean? Like, it, um, it kind of seemed like we were, uh, I mean, the one idiot yell bored for no reason in the thing, just but the one idiot, but it's the, uh, because the people were into it, the whole thing, people were really into it. Um, but no, I mean, the people were into it, but the, it just <laughs> seemed like, I was trying to, after the comeback, I didn't want to just pin you out of the comeback, you know what I mean? And, uh, so I tried to fucking get you back on me, and, uh, and the sleeper thing, I think we could have milked a little more out of, but I, I, I couldn't tell if you were, could really seen where I was going, so I was kind of like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, it seemed like um, that uh, we, we kind of weren't on the same page at that point, and I didn't know how to get you back on. Like, on, or I, maybe you were on the same page as me, but I couldn't tell, and so I didn't know how to get it back there. So that's why I kind of, I fucking spun into you and fucking give you that, and then from there, I'm like, all right. And then we had a really good reaction with the nine. Like, were you fucking shitting yourself there? No. Well, I got kind of knew something was happening, and right. I saw you. I was like, all right. Yeah, I'm mean, saying, but by, by eight, were you like, wait, nobody's getting up? Yeah, I was kind yeah. of. Uh, I knew you had something in that mind. Yes. <laughs> the um. Yeah. So I figured, and then from there, I just was like, all right, where do we go from here? And I was like, and I couldn't get you to take over. You know what I mean? Like, I really wanted okay. you to. So I was uh, just listening. To I know. You I know. I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. That, 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 that's why the fuck I was like, you know what? We need to get out. Like, this is what I was thinking. I'm just telling you, what was in my head was the uh, plus I got to do for Feinstein's thing is that uh, I, I wanted you to take back over, and I just didn't know how to get you to take back over at that point. And uh, because we, it was like um, the, uh, where like, um, it, it just seemed like, uh, I kept thinking, okay, I'm gonna come up with something, he's gonna see it and feed on it, and then it just, it wasn't, whatever. Anyway, so then I just went for the sleeper thing, and then, uh, and then you turned into me, and then we went back to that, and it wasn't getting the reaction I wanted. 
And uh, so I was like, you know what? But, and so I just figured the easiest way is just stop you and hook you. But that's why I need you in the ass. But, uh, <laughs> the, uh, no, it's not your fault at all. No, it's not your fault. I just, I, I couldn't, I, I thought they would buy that a little more there because they're more of a, um, the, um, it's, a, it's a more of an old school crowd here. So I thought they would buy that if we worked it, but they weren't buying it as much. And then I was like, huh, what am I going to do next? And I was like, I don't want to go back and buy. It was just basically is the way they were buying a match. I figured they would buy that, the sleepers spot. Like I had a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to do, but they weren't buying it like I wanted them to. And, um, and I was like, all right, we can stay with this. Or we can try and get out of it. And then trying to get out of it, I was like, well, fuck. You know, I was thinking, eh, I don't want him to start from start beating on me again. Because, I mean, I don't want him to start with fucking, you know. It, it just it just seemed like I wanted you to get to the leg again. But it didn't, but then I was going to be like, well, then I'll be on the ground. There'll be no way to get to the DDT. You know what I mean? So I was like, fuck it. But uh, just so you want, if you were wondering what I was trying to think of there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll just listen to you. I didn't think it was right for me that. Throw too much at you. Yeah, no, I, but thank you. I respect I that. that. I respect that. I, I get guys like on indie shows that start calling shit to me. Fucking, that uh, it, it's funny. So as long as they're calling good shit, I don't care. You know what I mean? So I don't know what to do. I don't know. What, yeah. You know. But I mean, it, it, but it's also I'd rather they ask me first out of respect. You know what I mean? And uh, but no, I mean you you were fine out there. I mean I thought you did a really good job. I just thought the only thing is, just be careful. I mean, just when you get heat, just don't be afraid. Make, you know, if you come after me, I'll cut you off. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll make my rally if I need to. I would rather you beat on me, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, get the heat. And, uh, oh, the other thing I was going to say is be careful, too. Like, you, um, I guess you have some sort of bowing spot. Is that a regular spot or something? Yeah, but like, if I, once I get, like, my heat, right. like, something to keep me down, right. I get, like, a bow, like, I finally took over. You know, right. Kind of yeah, uh, make sure, just for whatever it's worth, that you have me. That was a little too early, I thought. Like, you didn't have me stopped enough to fucking... You know, if you're going to bow to all four sides and really milk it, you know, it was, I, I like the spot, but I thought it was a little early for oh, it. I fucking hit you with a move or two, you know, not even a move, but like an elbow or something. You should fucking blister me for that. Boom, boom, boom. You know, maybe I'll throw a shot, boom, cut me off. Again. Like, like you did when um, when I was trying to get my leg in the corner and you put it around and I'm blasting you trying to get you off and you just stayed and fucking kicked it anyway. That's good though, you know what I mean? Okay. Except the, the only minor thing I'd say is there's... You register them a bit, boom, boom, ow, fuck, and then kick it. You know what I mean? Like, don't completely know something. Right. You know I mean, you did feel me hitting you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Re ow, register them, fuck, you know what I mean? Register back, back, so it looks like I'm getting somewhere. And then, you know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, like, if you have my leg, like, like here, right? And you're fucking going to put it in. Bam, you know, yeah, there you go. Bam, now back off a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, you're trying to recruit, and then just come, and then come blistering in. Boom, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like you shot, shot, fuck you, you know what I mean? Or like I blast you, I'm staggering away, now fucking come make me pay for it. Boom, you know what I mean? And, and that's all. I just it'll you got a lot of potential, really a lot of potential, you know what I mean? Thank you. Just gotta fucking that's only the main thing is uh was that. And uh yeah, and I was I've been unhappy with myself about the sleeper thing at the end. I just thought this crowd would buy it more than they did, yeah. but you know. Please all the people all the time. Huh? What's that? It's you can't please all the people all the time. Yeah, I know, but but I'm usually pretty good at being at figuring out what everybody wants, though. Yeah. I mean, I I kind of thank you for this. Like, I I need guidance like that. You know. Cool. Like, I just I, I have my bumps down. I just want to know the right psychology. Yeah, yeah. Know. The um, yeah. It's honestly, it, it's it's this simple. The yeah. it, it's really simple. Wrestling's simple. Nobody ever teaches it. The heel, the big, the match starts. The baby face shines because he's a little better wrestler and he's fucking, or he's got a little more intestinal fortitude and the heel's a bit of a scumbag, you know what I mean? But the heel's a bit of a scumbag, so finally he gets pissed off that he's not winning, <coughs> so he cheats. That's why he cheats. He cheats, gets an advantage, and he's fucking beating the crap out of the guy, and then eventually the baby face to intestinal fortitude fights back and makes a comeback. It's that simple, you know? And everything else is fucking, is unimportant other than that. It's just the, the simple psychology. It's, you know, good triumphs over evil, you know, or tries to triumph over evil, you know, or, uh, you know, and evil is trying dick. to fucking win, you know, it's just, you know, it it's, happens all the, the time. whole thing is, 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 the, is the heel is, he's willing, he has, he has much less character, you know, whether he's cowardly or despicable or, you know, egotistical or one of the seven deadly sins, he's a sloth, Tommy, and, uh, Thomas. Yes, and uh, and so that's why the baby face fucking is virtuous, you know. I mean, that's what it boils down to. But he doesn't actually have to be virtuous. 
He just has to be someone fucking, um, you know, eventually it just becomes, but you don't have to be a true baby face to be a baby face, but the, um, but as a heel though, if you're like too much, you, you're gonna turn, that's why the Raven character, they always want to turn a baby face, so you have to find a way to be such a, uh, which is why I'm showing you about being a heel is that, you know, I always end up having to fucking be a baby face because the people like him, Raven, because he's cool, you know what I mean? Because he doesn't back down. And the only reason he didn't back down is because when I was Johnny Polo originally, Johnny Polo was such a fucking ridiculous character that I had to be a bad motherfucker to overcome it. You know, so that's why Raven never backed down to overcome that. It's why people, but the problem is if you don't back down, people like you, you become a baby face. But I don't like being a baby face, so you have to be a good enough heel to know how to show your ass so people think, oh, you know what, fuck him. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, he's cool. He's, oh, you know what, fuck him. Which is why you have to be less funny and more of a prick if you want to stay a heel. Right. You know, the man. Hey, baby. Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, come on up. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, man. Hey, this is my husband. Nice to meet you, man. How are you doing? I looks just like you. <laughs> what? I looks just like him. Thanks, sir. Yeah, Thank you. Just like him. Yeah. I thought you did a great job. You did a really good job, Nick. You did. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Except for the rock that you did talk about. He didn't, he didn't. He ruined it. He could have, he missed the fucking end all be all line. That's what he said. Who let all these free kids in tonight? Ah, uh, the Fiesta Garden, baby. Is there a shower here? Yeah, all the way down the other hall. Is it at the Fiesta Garden? <laughs> you can never have too many yeah, Alamadrill references. That's what you should did. hate the kids. That's yeah. fucking, uh, get some Alamadrill Fiesta Garden. Fucking from fucking Portland. Portland. Rob's shaking his head. Rob, fuck it. What's that? I'm a drill. Oh, he said, what's that? No, like, I don't, I don't know. It's just an interview segment, like Piper's Pit. Okay. Sort of. But better. Nah, uh, really? Exactly. Alma Joe hated the kids. The kids would always get in free. Yeah, the TV was always free. I, if I win, the kids ain't getting in for free. <laughs> Baby faces always win somehow. He should yeah. talk, talk about being in Eugene and Salem and... Uh, yeah, but what was some of his material, though? He was just—he was just a guy you couldn't like. He had to be a heel. He's just a dick. Yeah. He was awesome. Hey, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling him. He can't be. A, if he's funny, people are gonna like him. You have to be a dick when you're a fucking uh, heel. If you're a funny heel. All right. What, um, that's done for today's class. All right. Well, thank you very much, Owen. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Sorry about waving the half your mustache off. <laughs> that was a good spot. <laughs> that that was great. Would. Strange crowd. <laughs> Maybe they thought that was a real mustache and they didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> well, thank hey, you very uh, much can you get my car, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, uh, what? <laughs> sorry, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you know, I am black, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> it's your life. It was a racist well, joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it was meant as a racist joke. I'm not a racist, that's why I'm... Just play one on TV? Exactly. You're not racist. You just, garden. you just never met a black guy you like? No, I like black people. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, doesn't he look like George Hamilton? <laughs> he does. He's, he's got to get love at first bite in Zorro to Gate Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, I'm never working Raven again. 